Hi folks, I'm Book here. Welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering why I've got the same clothes on for the past three videos. Well, I'm filming these videos back to back because I wanted to get the series finished and I also wanted to see how it progressed and how long it would be. But hopefully we're coming to a very near end and we can see where the story is unfolding and what the end outcome is going to be. So let's just get on with the game. This one is the funeral, as far as I know. Yep, the funeral. Chapter 8, I think. <laughs> that night, Linda got a phone call. Oh, has something happened to her parents? I hope not. That would be very, very sad. I'm um, just checking over here. Nothing here. It's a letter here. Dan, big news, got a call from Bracket Books in Eugene and they want you to do a reading from Wind Song, maybe even some Q&A, some book signings, all that good stuff. I think you should do it. In fact, I'm going to be pretty pissed if you don't. Bracket is a big outlet, so if this goes well, orders for the new book will definitely go up. I don't need to remind you how long it's been since Tamara's way came out. If you don't keep your name out there, no one will even notice when you finish the new book, whatever it's called. Hell, speaking of the new one, why don't you read some of it too? Maybe the second chapter you sent me last month, that was pretty good. Bracket Books, Eugene, the 21st, see you there. Paul, P.S. You know the long game, right? Nailing this one could mean a bigger advance on the next book. Oh, right, so I think that's really, really good thing for Dan, and I'm probably going to go with that. I know I haven't heard of Linda or Tommy's um, choice yet, but I think this would be a really good thing for Dan, and going out there and doing this thing might give him the inspiration he needs to crack down on his book and really work at it. Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars for one day only. Watch the world famous fight of five as they scream across the sky. Witness death defying feats of flying in a display unlike anything you've ever seen before. Well, it doesn't say before, but ever seen. Guaranteed to blow you away. Don't miss it. Well, that sounds fun. Oh, that's for Tommy. Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Jo. Mm -hmm. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but... This is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. Oh, you can feel the uh, hurt and sadness in Linda's voice, and it's that's really, really sad. I like how they've done that in this, is put all the emotion in Linda's voice, and you can feel it. and. Losing somebody is never, ever easy. Right, we'll explore Tommy's memories. Is she in heaven? I'm sure she is. Huh? That's so sad. It's, it's really hard telling children about people who have passed away as well. and Because they don't, depending how old they are, they don't quite understand as well as we do. Hmm. That's sweet. Phew. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. Right, we'll explore Linda's memories while we're here. They're all in the same room for once. Stared at a blank canvas again today. Got a few strokes in, but I don't like any of them, and I'll probably paint over them tomorrow. It's so frustrating going into that room every day and trying to keep working. It's easy to get out of the house for errands or go for a hike, but none of that helps the work as much as being around other artists. I'm not gonna give up. Maybe I can use this feeling in my new piece. Definitely. I'll try that out tomorrow. Yes, Linda, you should. Let's see if she's in a study. No. Maybe upstairs? Usually there's always someone stood in the hallway. <laughs> there we go. 
<laughs> oh, poor Linda. My heart breaks for her. My man. What's up? Just be here for me. Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do. Oh, it's so sad. I kind of feel like this episode's going to be really hard and I have a feeling that Linda's choice is going to be something to do with her grandma passing away and then I'll either have to do that or pick Dan's choice and it's going to be a really, really difficult choice because as Dan really needs this for his book and I feel like it would really do him some good to have this opportunity but then I mean I don't know Linda's choice yet because it hasn't come up but I feel like I also need to do Linda's choice because she's just lost someone and that will impact their marriage if I don't if that makes sense Should I have run the ad? I don't know if it would have helped the book, but I still spent all day kicking myself. Did I cop out? Is there some other reason why I didn't want to put the book out there yet? How am I supposed to believe I'm doing something that matters if I'm scared to tell the world about it? Damn it. Way to build your confidence, Dan. Don't beat yourself up, Dan. I don't think Blast you should have put that out at all. Right, so we've done just... all the clues down here. Let me just check the study. I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Jo and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family, to make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo, and I'll never forget you. I promise. Mm -hmm. I mean, this goes for both mums and dads, but there's never any perfect mums or perfect dads out there. All of us can just do our best, try our best, hey, and fun. I don't know learn from saying. mistakes. Right, so I've got to search the house for a few more clues, and then we'll be able to see everybody's memories. So I don't think Tommy's got any in here. Oh, He's got yeah. some, some of his pictures up, they look nice. Oh, he's got one in his dad's room. <laughs> I'm gonna rock it. Oh no. Joe's funeral's the same day as the signing in Eugene. And Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but Grofield is a different story. They won't give a damn why I missed it. They'll just get a memo and put it in a spreadsheet somewhere and write me off just a little bit more. And it's not just the timing. If I do the reading, I've got to get that chapter in shape. It's not even remotely ready for anyone to see it. Can't worry about what Paul says. He's my agent. He's supposed to stroke me. And what about Tommy? I knew something like that would happen. I knew something would clash with the funeral, which is really, really unfortunate. But what can you do? Family comes first and he needs to be there to support his wife, whether or not that messes up his chances with Eugene, then so be it. Most of you here knew my grandmother. For those who didn't, I truly wish you had. She was an example for all of us. Her warmth, her caring, and her smile were impossible to forget. It's still hard for me to believe she's gone. Without her, the world is... <laughs> oh no, Paul Linda. They have to be the same day. Uh, do some serious work on that chapter first. Right, need to see what everybody's decision is now. Hopefully it's not a major one between Linda and Dan. Uh, he needs to call and buy a ticket if he's going to come to the funeral. 
A ticket? A ticket for what? I'm not quite sure. There's something here. <gasps> Call Paul first thing tomorrow morning. Any possible way to move it? Is this thing announced yet? Yes, sir. So... I don't know what I need to buy a ticket for. The magazine says they are going to be tons of planes. Hey. So we've got to do some serious work on the chapter. He needs to call and buy a ticket, but he's coming to the funeral. Uh, right, okay, I think we need to pick Linda's hey. option because he needs to go to the funeral. So whatever it is that he needs to buy, that's what he needs to do. It just so happens that that ended up falling on the funeral, which is unfortunate. Why is she Dan couldn't bear the thought of Linda going to the funeral alone, so he bought a ticket and flew to Denver with her. The funeral was hard for Linda, but having Dan there made it easy to bear. They stayed up late that night of the funeral as Linda told Dan stories about Grandma Jo, and they talked and maybe being grandparents themselves one day. When Dan told Tommy they wouldn't be able to go to the show, Tommy had a crying fit and tried to tear up the magazine. It worried his parents. He hadn't thrown a fit like that for almost a year. It was exactly the kind of thing they'd hoped to avoid by spending the summer in such a quiet, peaceful place. I mean, the past couple of times we've picked Tommy's outcome and he's done some fun things, so just this once, I'm quite surprised about that. Paul was livid when Dan called and said he couldn't make the reading. Dan was used to his agent laying, laying into him, though. What really worried him was that he had, hadn't gotten a chance to work on the chapter Paul had asked him to read. That gnawed at him. He knew he couldn't afford to keep putting his book second if he wanted it to be his best work. I knew that was going to happen though with Linda's grandmother's funeral and then Dan. I knew something was going to end up clashing like that, which is really, really unfortunate. I really feel bad for Dan that another thing has cropped up that... He's not been able to focus his time onto his book, but then, like I said in previous clips, he really needed to be there for his wife, especially if he wanted things with his wife to work out. He needs to be there and support her through a really tough time, whether he puts his book at the back of his mind, you know, that's just what what you've got to do in that situation. I hope you're all enjoying this game I'm playing. I'm really enjoying it as well. But I'm going to leave this chapter here and I will be back with the next one. If you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!